Hello Freedom! Today we're happy to announce the release of version 1 of our new YouTube spam detection tool. If you head on over to www.spam.tm, you'll be presented with a tool that on the outside looks pretty simple, but is doing a ton of heavy lifting to ensure that YouTubers, like ourselves, can better understand the YouTube terms of service, as well as help us to identify spam channels in our network. So let's jump in to see just how this new tool works. By default, the tool will load the Freedom YouTube channel, so let's use that as our first example while I explain what indicators are and what each one means. The indicators that are listed by this tool are the ones that are looked at when determining whether or not a channel is viewed as spammy and is potentially breaking the YouTube terms of service. The more that spam.tm sees that a channel is meeting the criteria of an indicator, the higher the percentage will go, which, in turn, contributes to the overall spam score located to the right of the indicator list. So, let's run through some of these first few indicators to give you a better idea of what this tool is looking at. First, you'll see Copycat Channel. This looks at whether or not the channel is attempting to impersonate another popular YouTuber by uploading the same channel art as them, uploading the same videos with the same tiles and thumbnails, etc. Basically pretending to be a channel it's not and stealing away views from the original creator for monetary gain. Next, it looks at the video to subscriber ratio. Generally, a spammy channel is only after views for revenue, and doesn't really try to gain subscribers. The higher the ratio, the more likely a channel is viewed as spam. Then, it looks to see if a channel is linking to related social network websites. Legitimate channels generally link to sites like Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus in the About section of their YouTube channel to further promote their brand. Speaking of the About section, most YouTubers also like to fill it out with the details about who they are and what their channel is about, while most spam channels tend to leave this section blank. Anyways, I think you get the idea of how indicators work, but if you're still confused or would like to know more about the indicators I've covered, or the ones that I didn't in this video, I've provided a link to a document in the description section of this video that provides all of the details for each indicator and provides examples of good and bad channels. We have many more ideas for this tool, like notifying Freedom Partners that their spam score has increased, with instructions on how to solve it, or notifying them if another channel is impersonating them and stealing their content. Do you guys like those ideas? Make sure to hit that thumbs up button to show your support. This is only version 1 of Spam.tm, so there's a lot of potential here, and hearing your feedback is key to helping us further develop the tool that solves the spam problem for everyone on YouTube. Thank you for watching. I've been Alex, and let's keep growing together.